my chat with you is inspiring you to take values-based action because it's the right thing to do. So that we want you to think about what has stood out from what you've heard that makes you either think about content or process for this declaration. The debate about using the word zero versus not zero. I mean, what's wrong with being idealistic? For example, the slogan translated into the traditional Chinese would be zero suicide. An attainable goal, a long journey, but start now. <laughs> Thank you very much. The two years before we started our work, the rate of suicide in our patients was about 90 per 100,000. In fact, one of our colleagues said, look, this isn't too bad. Let's declare victory and move on to something else. But we said, no, we, we've made a commitment to, to eliminate suicide, so let's get going. In the first year, we cut this by 70%, and then over the ensuing decade, reduced it by about 80%. For two and a half years, we had zero suicide. In Japan, we are trying to uh, create the society where no one is driven to suicide. So the, the goal is uh, zero. I'm no different than my patients. Uh, we all share uh, uh, human suffering and not, not every one of us can become suicidal. You have to have a certain vulner vulnerability. But we should get level with our patients and we should get level with humanity. A lot of you don't know or haven't heard or may not know that I live with chronic suicidal ideations. They come often enough, more often than I'd like to admit. My goals in life are very rudimentary. Be a good husband to my wife, take care of my dog, and stay alive. I believe in zero suicide. I believe in the name, and I will always believe that hope, no matter that I cannot see it, is there start asking questions about gender and sexuality and have you ever thought about suicide and so we need to start developing some programs to help um, this population figure out how can we how can we stop these attempts we realize that zero suicide really means also building a life worth living where it includes the capacity for connection and meaning and so well maybe we thought we were aiming for the moon maybe we're actually aiming for Mars and while it hasn't happened yet, it is absolutely going to happen. David Covington says maybe not in his lifetime, which means maybe in my lifetime. <laughs> and the things that came out for me were certainly families are important to mobilize. And I think the salient um, argument for engagement is zero suicide is in place to right the wrongs that may have existed when your loved one struggled. Our lifelong commitment is, is to continuously to identify the good practices doing this monitoring and surveillance and such that we really can identify these good practices and get the stakeholder to come along on board and then move it together. There are some of you in this room thinking, uh, okay, well, but how do, we, how do we go about doing this? Well, in fact, Julie has a website at zerosuicide.com, which has an entire framework a toolkit. It's an immense resource. That's at the essence what we're trying to do. I was a little bit skeptical about coming all the way and spending um, time in a two-day meeting when the travel itself amounts to about the same time. But I'm really thankful for this opportunity to be here. Though every country and every culture has its differences, I'm not alone in the challenges that we faced in our country. Everybody struggles with funding. Everybody struggles with naysayers. It's a process and it takes time. Culture of care must actually be caring. It should be collaborative, inclusive, and equitable. No one should die alone or in despair. And no one and no life is lost cause. Zero suicide.